peace and love. My body as well. Keep you feeling blessed and safe and high vibrational. So in this video, we'll just be connecting with energy and see what messages energy has to give. I have three decks with me. The Nature's Whispers Oracle deck. The Oracle of the Seven Energies. And also the Witch's Tarot. So we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Sun card. Positive energy. I'm feeling a peaceful resolution. At the bottom of the deck we have the High Priest talking about balanced communication between people, perspectives. It could also be that a religious element has a part to play in this communication, the reasoning of this communication. Or something to do with the perspectives of this communication. With the Ten of Pentacles coming out, talking about family, I'm being drawn to this child in the card and this spark of light, especially with the Sun card as well. The Two of Wands. I feel that somebody may be wanting to take a new direction. Being guided towards a new direction. Being guided towards a choice or being guided towards the world in terms of having more, receiving more, wanting more, deserving more. But there's definitely an energy of somebody getting what they deserve or receiving what they put out it's like coming back to them for some it's coming back to bite them but for some it's almost like a reward as well ace of pentacles just popped out just to confirm that message we had the four of wands so i'm hearing lively times but i'm also hearing discussions at parties or discussions at an event or around people. Don't think about tying up loose ends. Some people are also letting their mouth run away with them. And there's a need for somebody to tie up loose ends, which may be where this whole communication is coming about. Okay, so there's a incoming closing of a cycle. With the Six of Wands and the Ace of Swords. Now with this cycle closing, there's a new beginning. I'm hearing with somebody, but it's not going to be all... I want to say guns and roses for some reason, but it's not going to be all rose-colored glasses, if that makes sense. It's not going to be all lovey-dovey. It may not seem bright and beautiful. But there's a definite change, a transition towards freedom, towards growth, towards the feeling of feeling free.
three of pentacles I feel that somebody has a choice or that there is a choice to be made somebody's contemplating every aspect every side every corner evaluating every facet Trying to come to a peaceful resolution, trying to come to a peaceful resolution in mind, but also staring blankly into space, almost like procrastinating at the same time. For some reason, there's three elements to this decision or to this choice. It could be three people, it could be a third party, it could just be three choices, decisions, three different directions that it could possibly go in. It also could be a signing, signing of a contract or like a um, lease of some kind. Somebody chooses you above all the decisions, above all the challenges, above all the obstacles, you're chosen. It could be a person choosing you, it could be the universe choosing you, it could be God choosing you, but somebody's choosing you. You're the wise choice, you're the best option, and it's almost that because you choose yourself, they choose you, or when you choose yourself, they choose you. You have the Page of Cups. There's growth and transformation that's happening from within. Healing of the child self, healing of the divine feminine, healing of the feminine energy within self. That aspect of self is growing and maturing. And is, I wanna say, becoming happier, becoming, I wanna say more elegant, and if you are, um, feeling that this has to just pertain to a female it's not the case seven of pentacles patience everything is growing everything is growing in your favour everything is happening in your favour The light of life can be yours. The light of life will be yours. If you try, if you thrive. If you dive towards it. Not drive towards it, dive towards it. King of Pentacles. If you focus on what you want, if you truly focus upon what you want, it will be yours, it can be yours, it can be attainable. Nine of Pentacles, stepping in your glory. I'm almost seeing this as the page of cups grown up. The Divine Feminine, maturing, as I already said. Becoming more elegant, as I already said. More in tune with herself, more in flow with her body. I think the camera may die, so I'm gonna pull a few Oracle cards. And I apologize if the camera dies. If you like personal information down below in the description box.
worship on the star. I don't know why, but I just heard the heart of Christ is in your is in your heart, is in your chest. The light of Christ is in your chest. But also when that card usually comes out, it's usually a moment to literally wish upon a star. So not to wish upon a star, but to make a wish or make set an intention more so. Of maybe something you want to manifest or attain or achieve or appreciate. So you can do so if you like. A grand symphony, body and soul. When these cards come out together, it's saying to me that there needs to be an integration of mind, body and soul, or that there is a integration of mind, body and soul that is happening at the moment, or that is going to occur. really one clarifies the other when I'm talking about these two cards so ears wide open Energy saying that you must hear the answers. That, okay, they're saying that the issue is, and it's not that it's an issue, but they're saying that the issue is that we all see the answers, but we've become desensitized to what we're seeing. Therefore, we must experience what we're seeing or experience the answers, or experience the wisdom, or experience the knowledge, or even experience the pain from a different point of view, a different perspective, maybe through listening, maybe through feeling, maybe not through just the physical senses either, maybe through the psychic senses or the clairs. But collective. I thank you for joining. Thank you for being present. I extend my gratitude. Peace and love. Ashe.